Hi guys, Billy here. Um, okay, I am here now by my favorite barber, will you? Um, he is also a fellow Pakistani from uh, that's now residing in South Africa. Let me just quickly come and introduce you to will you. All right. Explain to internet what's your name, where you're from. My, I am from Pakistan. I am from Gujarat. My name is Muhammad Naim. I live in Tasil Kharia. You can speak your language as well. They will all understand. And how, how do you find South Africa? I find South Africa from my friend. He told me about to come visit us. If you like it, you can stay here. You can work with us. So I am here with them is from 15, 14 years now. We are doing very good. Alhamdulillah. And your family? Your family is away? My family is in still in Pakistan. You want to give them a message to say hi? Yeah, I tell my family, oh. my parents, my uncles, all of them to hello, hi, how are you? And how do you find uh, South Africa safe, nice country? South Africa country. is nice country, is safe, is not uh, that much what you read on the news. They show the all negativities on the news. News, yes, yes, definitely. Well, Thank you very much, sir. That is what we are. So today I'm coming for a haircut and a shave. And um, yes, I'll take a small video of it for you guys. And yeah, thank you for watching. I really want to show you his shop here. <clears throat> all nice mirrors and stuff. It's based on the main street in Margate. And he came all the way from Pakistan and he's making a nice living for himself here. That is a little lounge. And that is what we do here in Margate, nice coastal country, well, country town. And um, thanks. Thank you, sir. To pronounce, but when you read in the English, you pronounce very quickly. Just pronounce it again. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, that's when you greet someone. When you greet someone. Okay. When that person replied to you, wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Then, and and the first one is. Peace be upon you. Peace be upon you. Then second person also say is peace be up upon you too. You and your family. Okay. Yes. Well, that's awesome. No, I will learn that. Thank you. Yes, uh, in South Africa we have so many different cultures and beliefs and stuff, but it's always good to learn everybody else's culture, what they do, how they greet, its respect. Um, and yes, South Africa has got a mix of every race under the sun and it's a lovely, awesome country. I mean, I've been to Australia, I've been to New Zealand, I've been to England and home is home. When you come home, you want to be home. <laughs> yes. The culture out there is totally different. People are not as friendly and they almost swear you for nothing. So yes, today I'm here uh, having my uh, hair shaved. I like having short hair, my wife loves love that as well, and having my beard trim. So yeah, thank you for watching, and um, yes, enjoy. And must say to on this video, yes. must like my my page. But yeah, like and, uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still doing it. I mean, yeah. by, this is actually about the bad time thing. So yes, we're actually uh, busy uh, buying a drone. Uh, that when we do our walks on the beach and all over then we'll have drone footage as well I'm looking for a nice decent quality one that can track you as well so that will also be coming in uh, the last weekend we were at uh, Didi's racetrack um, lots of people there and lots of excitement and that video is still to come and um, yes let's take it from there thanks and I tell my parents, I am safe in this town. Yeah. I am here, this town inside from 2012. is very peaceful and very beautiful town is Margate. And and what areas must you avoid, like the taxi ranks and the rural areas? A rural areas, there is bit is rough life, how we have life in Pakistan, in the village side also. And uh, if you 
keep yourself is a straight you don't get any problem if you move little bit then everywhere is have that problem yes yes but yes. better if you want to come to south africa you can come to legally don't come illegally illegally is not a problem with the legal person is no issue no problem but country is very beautiful better than europe i prefer the south africa yeah because most people get n- n- negative comments from south africa and they see the violence and yes violence is come because of when people in hunger they don't have government just promise they don't deliver to them what they promise them then they every country inside have that problem yes yes they come on the road they block the road they demand what they ask for if they don't deliver then you know protest always yes go along to once is finish the agreement after that is everything will be okay is no problem yes but it's a relatively safe country to be in you can go anywhere yeah um, anywhere in this country you can go cape town is also very beautiful town durban too beaches is clean is no problem but everywhere have some dust you know we as community we have to look after each other yes. we have have to look after the town also if we can look up look after ourselves our house or town the nobody come from outside can clean up and do right things and what advice would you give if someone in pakistan if they want to come to south africa if they want to come to south africa first thing they must have trade and must be educated and must come legally don't come illegally legally way you can get visa is process is bit is slow all over the world not only in south africa you can apply there is embassy in islamabad you can go they apply your what you looking for you just want to visit or you want to come for business they can guide you for that also and it's not difficult to start a business it's yeah a it's not uh, difficult it's to not start the business also is here right it's easy but that's as i say is better than europe is south africa is a very beautiful country very beautiful weather very people are friendly i mean they come and talk to you like nothing it's not they they what do you want and all that i'll be yes. to countries where they say you know when you start talking to them they think immediately you want something from them yeah but i know this person about from 2012 they are coming by me yeah they are friend from 2012 <laughs> yeah. and very good person oh thank you <laughs> sure. that's it okay uh, yes and also please you can sub- subscribe the our channel and like you can get your question answer when you write it in the comments we can reply how you want just let us know thank you very much thank you kind of you uh, not uh, crime also but pakistan very safe as well very safe very safe and you say the food food is beautiful what region is the best to go and visit in pakistan away is lot of region is honestly i tell you i never been in even in on my country to yeah. but my cousins well they go up my brothers about mari side gilgit baltistan is lot of areas is k2 up I know Pakistan is very big. It's yes. A couple of million people. Gwadar port is also very good beautiful area they are building up. And if you want to go biking there they have the roads on. Road is uh, perfectly right. 
They're rebuilding the Yeah, we also also. get negative comments and views from Pakistan. You think, oh, Pakistan is all dilapidated and and very poor country and so on, but it's not. Yeah, yes, it's true that it's not a very poor country, it's very friendly people and also they are rebuilding the roads too. Okay. Because, I mean, uh, people and put travel. content on the internet and it's always negative, negative, negative content. So, people are afraid to go there because they think, oh, what might happen? Yeah, what can yes. this be kidnapped? And, and, and. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing happen like that. And that you, is, you see, how is the South Africa inside? Yes. There is some dangerous areas. There also, people oil. fry yeah. to go. Yes, yes. Uh, there is uh, also have some rural areas and uh, they want people don't go on that side okay if you're going on that side you're going on your own responsibility yeah and you're saying you're going back in january yeah for how long are they i'm going for two months two months okay yes. that's nice visiting the family and yeah but they're not don't, don't don't you feel also alone in south africa or do you have family yeah yeah, I am alone. Yeah, I want to inshallah bring uh, my family down here. Okay. Once is my paperwork is done, I will bring my family here yeah. to visit me. And then after that, two three months, send them back. They can children can study their back home. Okay. Yeah. And what made you become a barber? Barber, because of. I go for my own haircut, I always get disappointed. Mm-hmm. That's why I make up my mind to learn this barber work. And then I, mean, I deliver the people what customer wants, same thing you can, I can deliver to the customer. Yes, I know, I can say that because when you have a shave or a haircut, yeah, you get a massage and all mm-hmm. that small extras with it. Yes. I mean, where other people just in and out, in and out, in and yeah, out. you... You give your time to, you always give your time to everyone. Yes. And would you want to open more than one shop later on? Later on, inshallah, if God will, I will going to open up. Depend on Almighty. When he is angry, then we can yeah, do open. I also agree. So yeah. We can't run without Almighty. If he is not agree, you do what have you do, yes. have you to do, but you can't reach there where, what you are looking for. You first have to ask the Almighty, Almighty will give you everything what you deserve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you normally have your prayer music on you as well. Yes, every morning I come down around upper seven, I clean up shop. After that, I put on my Quran CD about one to two hours. After finish that, I read my Quran every day and go five times a day for prayer also. I have to close it to Almighty. Then you don't get all these devil things must stay away from you. Definitely, definitely. Always nice to know must stay always close to Almighty, then you don't fall on the floor. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> if you stay away from the Almighty, then definitely one day you're going to fall. Then nobody going to hold you up very quickly. That's it. Also? Thank you kindly. Yeah, no, this is awesome. Now I'm looking brand spanking new again. My waffle like this. Hey, it's nice yes. and done. Yes. Oh yeah, all there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can see I've had an awesome shave from this awesome gentleman. We've known each other for quite a couple of years now. And um, yeah, we're just making the small vlog here just to show you guys the awesome life of what we go through and um glad he shared us he's getting this <laughs> camera <laughs> all of that uh, profession and what the life is what his life is as well 
We have quite a few customers. I mean, yeah, we basically choose a person and you like that person and you stay with that person and you support their business. And yes, um, I know his business will grow. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you, everybody. Fi Amanillah. God bless you all of. Jazakallah. That's it. Ali Inkman out.